Hello everyone and welcome back to our JRPG series. In the last episode we worked on our magic system in creating a fire spell. However, it doesn't actually take away any MP. So in this episode, we're going to go through and take away MP from our character's resources and also stop them from being able to cast spells that they don't have enough resources for. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up the MP spending of our characters. I'm going to go to unit base here and we'll make a function. And this function is going to be called spend MP. And spend MP, we're going to take in an input. And the input is going to be MP cost. And that'll be a float. We're going to take the MP current to get. And then from there, we're going to do take away. MP cost will go into there. And then we're going to set MP current after we clamp the value here so clamp to float and the minimum to zero and the maximum will be mp max now i'll stop it showing any weird numbers that are outside the bounds so that's spend mp now we also need to tell our ui to update and ch and show that that change because at the moment we won't do that so we'll make a new event dispatcher for this this event dispatcher is going to be MP spent. So at the end of this function, we're going to drag this out and do call. And plug that in. Compile and save. Now let's go to back to our UI. And we're looking at the uh, party widget slot. Which is the character display. Go to the graph. And you can see here we've got the refresh UI happening when we bind the event for unit and it's doing all this stuff here but this bind event is only for taking any damage so what I'm actually going to do is bind another event to it so from unit we're going to do bind event to mp spent plug that in here and the event here uh, we can't plug it straight into your refresh UI because they don't match the same system because this is using the any damage until you get all these pins this doesn't have that so we're not going to just plug that straight into there so what we're going to do is we're going to make a custom event and we'll call this one mp update and it's so quite simply all we're going to do is call the refresh ui directly okay and that'll do for that okay so that'll update the ui uh, next thing we'll do is make it so that we can check that we actually got MP to cast a spell. So if we can't cast spells that we can't afford. So we need to take a look at how we're displaying our magic ability. So our magic ability is we're going to disable or enable based upon the uh, availability of the MP on the character. So uh, we need to know who the character is. And we also need to know um, the uh, amount of MP they've got. So the next thing we need to do is make it so that we can check how much MP we have and whether or not that will disable some spells for us. So let's go into our um, game mode first of all. There it is. And we're using this because we need somewhere to track who is the current uh, unit. At the moment we're not tracking it on anywhere really that's available to us easily. So what I'm going to do is when it's to turn start here, we start unit turn, we're just going to promote that to a variable here as well. And we'll take the turn order get and we're going to turn it to promote that to variable. We call this one current unit. And we'll plug that into here. Like so. So now the game mode has that on there, it makes it a lot easier for us to access that. So if I go back to my UI for the individual spell, the magic ability slot, we can go to the graph of this and we can do a check. So when it's constructed on the pre-construct here, we're going to be doing a check on the uh, current character's ability to cast it. So we get the uh, game mode. And then we're going to do cast to battle game mode and 
on here we're going to get the current unit and from the current unit we want to promote that to this variable here okay and first thing we do on the pre-construct is just see if what MP they have and whether or not this thing should be disabled or not so on current unit we're going to take this out and get MP current and we're going to see what the abilities MP requirement is so get ability and we're going to get class defaults and we're going to take the mana cost to find and put it in the rank to get the actual cost of the spell and we'll say that MP current is greater than or equal to the mana cost and if that is the case or not it's going to change the availability of our button so our button here we're going to drag out target selection button and do set enabled and that will go into here in fact actually let's just we can plug it straight into this boolean here there you go and plug that into there compile and save so now I want to change the appearance of, th of this thing if it is disabled so we go to the designer view for this and go to the uh, description of the, the details of the selection button and go down to a find the disable settings and disabled here I'm going to tint it so I'm going to do tint and we'll do a tint of dark grey and so we're done with this we click save and close this so to test this out let's make the fire ability have lots of requirement for the mana fire rank one and on the settings for its mana cost table rank one it's going to cost let's say 200 okay so way more than he currently has so if i hit play now so yeah greater has 50. okay and we'll go to magic black magic you can see that i can't click on it it's not hoverable and i can't click on it it's grayed out the text as well it's not available okay so hit back you can see the difference there okay so it's unavailable and that all works so let's change that back and see if the mp cost works so i'm going to change that back to default which is six so all we have to do now is put in our spend mp function into our magic spells we go to magic base on begin play we're going to get the instigator and we're going to cast that to our unit base cast to unit base and plug that in and then from there we're going to do spend mp and the mp cost is going to come from our mana cost table obviously we do find and we're going to find the rank and that will go into the mp cost and save that now because we are using begin play our black magic is also using begin play so we have to tell the black magic one to inherit that ability as well so we're going to go to begin play on the black magic base right click add call depend function and plug that into there compile and save this okay so let's give this a little test okay wait for the enemy to finish their thing and on here I go to magic black magic fire rank one And you can see the spell has taken away MP on the ability of a Greystone. And so now we can actually spend our MP to cast our spells. In the next episode, we're going to jazz this up a little bit with some nice camera movements with our casting spell mechanics. So join us in the next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Lady. We can watch the episode plus many others before everyone else from just $1 a month. Massive thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.